Good God. Now, on the trailer, flexed out, we get to see how they all work, how everything compares, and get that comparison for that TerraFlex lift, the Metal Cloak lift, and Roy's Rock Crawler. Um, Roy's got a few more mods he's making, uh, and then we'll reflex that one again and see how, how he's coming, pulling it together. And to add to what Kenneth said, what we're looking for is where is our rig having issues? That's what the trailer's value is to us. Put it on the trailer, flex it out in a controlled situation, see where the problems are and see what we can do to fix them. And by the way... Scores only mean who buys ice cream. Yeah, totally missing. Yeah. Not a surprise at, at um, all for fun. It was completely bending over. <laughs> yeah, that's actually different bump stops, but now it's missing. Good to point out. Thank you. No what are we doing for? Yep. Good God. I'm gonna need bump stops for 37s. Yeah, let's see where you're at with the bumps now. Um, yeah, they're factory stock. Gotcha. And they're not hitting yet. Okay. Well, Okay, we're out here today with the Edge Automotive and the Metal Cloak CPI trailer. I'm taking opportunity for something I almost can't do otherwise right now to get this 91 uh, MJ Comanche on the trailer and see what it'll do. Uh, this is a work in progress, uh, has a plethora of issues, but I really just wanted to see what it would do. Uh, it started off two wheel drive. I put the uh, front axle on a four inch short arm in it. Just, you know, a spring over in the rear. Wanted to see what it would do. The blue one we're about to bring. <laughs> yeah, my copper TJ. <laughs> I, 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 my memory here was like, wait a second. This, this one you cannot Money for two wheel drive ones. I'm like, you know how much work goes into swapping that? No. Actually, actually, it's not that bad. Well, hi there. Hi there. Welcome to car. What's it? Is it just a T? Uh, not really a four low. It's a shift linkage issue. Oh, the shift linkage. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, with the four cylinder and the AX5. The linkage is so short that it won't. Uh, can you like? Is there something you can just extend or something? And then it. Well, what happens is under torque, the transfer case moves. Oh, gotcha, 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 gotcha. Okay. The, the right answer is uh, a proper cable shift. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Damn, 17 inches out of the front though. Can 
you show me where? 17. So on Somewhere the other there. side, oh, under there. compression, that lower arm, actually, you can kind of see it. It hits yep. that breath yep. when it shocks it, right? Yeah, so then it. Okay, I see that. It's super easy. Yep. It's just a little cut off of the of that where you're not notching the bracket there to give room for that arm. Or put 44s under it, which is the plan. <laughs> what was I thinking? Yes! Yeah, yeah, there is no, there is no more out of that front. So we're going to do that at the Do you like it, Jesse? Oh yeah, I want one so bad. Oh. Uh. So I think between us, we've got four of them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we have four Jeeps too, so. No, I mean four MJs. What? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Roy's got a couple, Kenneth's got a couple. <laughs> yeah, they're between each. They are. All right, show it to me, Corey. Ah, 630! Good! Woo! Yeah. Nothing wrong with that at all. Yeah, beat the uh, diesel Liberty I used to drive. <laughs> uh, what we're seeing in the front end is contact with the lower control arm at full droop. No real surprise there. And at, at full stuff on the front axle, uh, it needs a bit more bump stop. It'll stuff all the way to the point where it's done. On the back, it's actually working pretty good. The you know bump stop is where it stops, and the, the shock is the limit of travel in the bottom. So in the back end, with the spring over, it's working pretty well. Front end, it's got work to do, but we know we're gonna put a long arm on it at some point, um, probably some different springs uh, and other things to have help it work out. I just really wanted to see where it started off, and to be honest, Starting off with a 630 on the trailer is actually not bad. I mean, that outflexed my uh, Liberty with the four inch lift. That nearly matched my first go with a two inch, two and a half inch lift on my JKU uh, Rubicon. So, not, not bad for a first go. Dear Lincoln, being a Jeep dog today. That's actually what we named the video. Dripping in metal cloak gold. Dripping in gold. <laughs> 20 and a half. I'm gonna go 21 on that. Dang, that's like perfect stuff. Dude. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. Jesse. Kenneth, what was your score? 
920. Oh, that's awesome. You gotta same, take same, fenders off same, after that. Same line. I'm not opposed to it. So I told him, I'm like, you know, now you gotta open things up. So this one did really well. Um, a year ago at Safari, we had it on the trailer with a 900. This year, we've got a 930. Um, it, so it actually came up quite a bit. Uh, having just a, basically just a year of travel in the suspension, actually using it, letting everything free up and loosen up. Uh, it's really kind of where it's at. Uh, getting more out of it is going to require some pretty significant modifications. Uh, you know, tires are coming right up to the fenders at full stuff, but not into them. Uh, but there is no ability for the shock to compress any further. So you know, the front end is kind of where it's at. Uh, rear is very much in a similar state. Everything is working really well, but it's probably at its easy limit. Um, there isn't a lot of extra travel at full stuff. So trying to come up further with the tire means a shorter shock, which then limits the down travel. So this setup as it is, is probably at its limit, but it's working really well with that 930. And for a vehicle that looks mostly stock, I'm actually really happy with that level of travel. It's good. Thank you. 
Show it to me, Chris. Yeah, yeah. Oh, there you go. go. Watch out, Penny. <laughs> so, we've got another, you know, the other rig that we built. It was actually very cool to be here and have the opportunity to put it on the trailer and see how it does. So, all three JLs that we lifted. Oh.